interesting journey. Um, when I worked in the civil service, you understand about government procedure. Um, then we were meant to go out, carry out planning in the settlements and towns with very little consultation. We were government. All powerful, all knowledgeable. Of course, we were knowledgeable and powerful. But really, um, it's a piece of humbling experience. We went to Kibera and um, tried to map out simple things like, I would call it simple, like land use. Um, you, you could see a structure. All structures look similar. In our opinion, many of the structures would fall into the category of residential. But shops look like homes. Homes look like schools. So an, unless you live in Kibera, you'd not be able to tell whether this was a small industry, a home, a school, for that matter. We came up with very good plans, ETC, ETC, but to our surprise, the people did not take up the plans. Until I changed, I, I changed um, locations, work locations, and came over to the university, we where we embraced a different way of working. Thanks to the relationship that we had cultivated with Mungano earlier on. We now see, view, working slums, working people settlements using a very different approach. We leave our hearts as professionals, engineers, planners, architects, outside the settlement. Sit with the people and assume different roles. A role of trying to understand the settlements better, but driven by the communities themselves. Of course, the communities live there, have invested there, know each and every corner. Again, to many professionals, that is not palatable. They would not cede ground to communities who live in these areas to tell them that we rely upon you as a community to tell us everything, including what to do. What's the role of the professional in this case? I think you become a better professional if you humble yourself and agree. Agree to see the world using a different lens. Because that's a lens we have not been using before. And thanks to these uh, benefits that we get from Mungano, that planning is no longer what we think professionals ought to. Yes, we, 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 will, we will have one or two, three things that the communities have not experienced. We will bring in experiences from other settlements, other countries, other settings that they may not know of. So in terms of exchange of best practice, this is how best practice uh, seeps into community planning. And from the communities, they will give us their own lived experience of the settlements. I, I think those two worlds can now begin to real, carry out real, real, real planning in the settlements. If we shared our professional approach and they shared their, um, their point of ignorance, I, I don't believe that. I believe communities are very strong in the sense that uh, they live, invest, understand the settlements better than us. They do not come from an ignorant point of view. They are extremely knowledgeable about the environments. So these, these two working ways, I, I think, can give us a good solution towards settlements in this country. And this is now emerging. We, we, see, we see that a lot. We see that a lot in the work that we are doing.